What's up guys, Sinclair Photos here, and this morning I'm happy to tell you we are bringing you some amazing Sunset GT content. Uh, this is the second time I've been to this show. The very first time I ever came out to LA, I came to this, and it was hypercar takeover. Everything I have ever wanted to see in my life showed up, so this month is actually advertised as a hypercar takeover. So who knows what's gonna be here. I know of one special car that's here for sure, so can't wait to show you that one, but let's see what comes and enjoy this freaking hypercar takeover, baby. Before we go down to the show, there's something kind of interesting parked on the street right here. I've never seen this car before. It actually just came out like three days ago, and I'm not sure how they got it here so fast from, I guess, England, but look, we got a 570S. Oh my God, is that the Spectator? This is the Chiron kid. Oh my God. We got a cool 570 spec here. I'm just kidding you. This is the new McLaren GT. I'm not sure how I feel about this car yet. It's uh, advertised to have enough space for a, a golf club bag right there in the back, but I don't see that as a reason to build a whole new car. But as you can see, it's kind of got the center tail lights. It looks, it looks pretty good. It looks like a McLaren, a generic McLaren. I'll give it that, but won't be adding this to my garage anytime soon. I'd rather have the 720. Another new car to the list. First year at the show, the DBS Superleggera Volante. This is a convertible version, but there's a couple good things uh, right over there. Ignore that right there. Don't look at that yet. We got the McLaren Senna we saw at the dealership the other day finished in this matte carbon fiber, which is absolutely insane. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Koenigsegg Yesco. This is the second time we've got to see this car. We saw this one over in Geneva when it first got launched, but it's under some sort of protective wrap right now from the bad weather conditions, but it is amazing to see this car again. Can't wait for them to start it up, move it probably under here, so wow. That is something special, and then you can see a Remac casually sitting behind it, but this is gonna be the star of the show today. This car drawing quite a crowd. We also saw at Geneva. This is the Pinaferina Batista. They got unveiled last night at a party that I'm not cool enough to get invited to, but we got to see it out this morning. It's not under the protective bubble, which makes me think that people at Pinaferina got a little bit more strength in their paint and everything than freaking Koenigsegg. But that is a cool looking car. Hopefully we'd hear this one start up too. So they're having a bit of a problem with the Esco. They lost the keys. So they can't start it, so they can't move it under there. And the window's down, so hopefully it doesn't rain any more than it already is. And this is why I love freaking California. Randomly shows up. Got the Regera and the Koenigsegg Aguera RS World Record Edition. Dang, listen to that Remac That's roar. <laughs> That's cool to see you moving though. Taking a break from all the hypercar action for a second, we had an R34 GTR. I had to put this in here before I forgot. But look at those wheels and look at that wing. All right, back to the hypercars. Here it comes, they didn't even start it up. They're pushing the Yesco in. There you go. From there, it will not move. All right, guys, for now, we're gonna stand on the side of the road and watch people come in from this way. Last time, a Veyron came down from there and a LaFerrari came straight down here. So fingers crossed for some hypercars. I wanna see him driving on the road. 
Look at this thing. What is this? Is this that one from Mexico? What? Holy shit. That is crazy. If anybody knows who that is, let me know because I have no clue. Look at the roof. What? You're gonna be going. You're gonna be going on the other side. That's crazy. Huh? That is really weird. Check this out. A random shear on. Oh, it's the one that the guy just bought with the blue brakes. Oh, that's so nice. Wow. Them US spec bumpers though. Oh, it's green and gold. That's a speck and a half. Look at that. It's a Zagato. Very beautiful. The double bubble action, baby. So this is the shooting brake. I didn't realize that. We saw one a couple days ago, but this is the only other one in California. Maybe the US. I don't know, but it's way better than the other one. Oh my God. Jesus. This is a purple GT2 RS. That is also a speck and a half. Look at that, it's green, the new Bentley. Whoa, good color, good color. The new GT's on the move. I was like, oh, just a 650. Nah, that's one of the rarest McLarens on the earth. What? Oh my God, in the rain. Laferta in the rain with the Strad man. This is a squad and a half. What? SVJ. SVJ. Never seen that before. That's crazy. He dropped in the top in the rain. Somebody has spider. A spider on top. Oh my god. Oh my god. One of my favorite ones I've ever seen. Holy moly, 
that's nice. My favorite motor of all time. Hey, we saw this guy last night. That is nice. Special needs kid in that car. Look who's at the party. It's Damon. Alright, DDE's here. We're gonna come chill down here in this level, check out all the cars that have arrived. Uh, Try to not stay in the rain too much yet. It's actually starting to pick up a little bit more. It's supposed to stop, but we'll see. A couple cool things still rolling in. We'll catch anything coming in, but let's enjoy these awesome cars that have shown up to the show. Check it out, guys. We got a, another squad rolling in. It seems that LaFerrari's like rolling in squads because we had a GT3 with a babe at the wheel. We got GTS and the Ferrari LaFerrari. This is slowly becoming my favorite of the three. I don't know, it's just that V12 sounds so good. Look at this stripeless blue new Ford GT. I love California, man. This stuff would never show up in Houston. What the heck? Silver with orange brakes. That is also a crazy car. Pretty much everything that's gonna show up to the show uh, I'm very pleased with the turnout so this is better than the first time I think I don't know you can make that decision for yourself if you haven't gone seen that video go ahead and check it out but now we're gonna watch everyone send it out of here hopefully the cops don't get them but we'll see hopefully we'll get some hypercar pulls and maybe a crash because it's raining here comes the can-am
such a nice car. As you saw, the Sins are not here at this one. There's too much of a cop presence. There are literally two sitting right by the entrance, so no one's going to be doing any pulls anytime soon, so we're going to head out of this one. And tip a little bit early, go see what we can get ourselves into the rest of the day in Beverly Hills. So we're going to say goodbye to all the hypercars and then head out. Take one last look at the Miracleer and GT, because when it's gone, I don't know, we'll probably see a bunch of those. They're going to be pretty common in Houston, I'd, I'd assume. Look at this. Say goodbye to the Senna. The beautiful blue carbon Chiron. I really like that one. The new Bentley. As you saw, the La Ferrari left. The weird thing with the... I don't even know what to call that. A cockpit or a door or what? That goes up. Goodbye, 918. Goodbye, La Ferrari. We'll probably see him in Beverly Hills. And goodbye, Ford GT. All right, it's kind of crowded in here, but we're gonna say goodbye to the Regera. We came early at all these shows to see them before all the people come in here. See ya, Pinaferina Batista. And goodbye, Koenigsegg Yesco. Hopefully, we'll get to see a lot more of these in the future. I know we're getting a couple in our area where I live, but that's all we're gonna get. There's too many people in here. Let's get out of here. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed another video of Sunset GT. This one, I, I it's safe to say this one is better than the last one. So you bet your butt we'll be out at the next one. We're going to hop in this car, and we're going to go spend the rest of the day in Beverly Hills. So if you did like the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.